What you're seeing here is our web-based collaboration platform called Style Zone. And when you first log in, you have your basically your news feed um, of all of the recent styles uploaded to the groups and the boards that you follow. Um, it does work a little bit like Pinterest. So if I go into my demo group here, we can see I have several different boards set up um, to handle my development for the season. So starting out, I have different boards for my core blocks. These are all of my fit approved blocks that I may use during the season for my development um, that have already been stitched up and are approved in 3D and are going to give me a good starting point for developing for my new season. Um, but also I'd like to just quickly point out that you can also upload things like graphics, uh, shoes, 3D objects, anything you can imagine into style zone. You're not beholden to a 3D object. So when you're starting out a seasonal development, um, as you may know, uh, you are usually handed something like a merchandising plan or a design brief to kind of indicate what direction the seasonal development should take. So as you can see here, um, we've got our merchandising plan built out with some sketches, some reference images, and even pulling in some of those core blocks for us to start our seasonal development off of. Um, if I open up this example here, um, we can see that this core block here has several different renders uploaded. All of these renders are uploaded using our virtual quality standards. So they're gonna be the same camera angles, the same lighting um, for every style that gets uploaded here. So a very consistent look and also helps with that apples to apples comparison um, while you're doing your 3D development. You have your 360 turntable, um, as well as the ability to upload your BW file. So anyone on your team can come in and access the latest version of the 3D file, give it a download, make any edits and upload those new changes to this style card here. Same thing with the Excel tech pack. You can use the, the style card to manage kind of the latest version always being attached to this style card here. As well as a new feature we've added to Style Zone for a 3D viewer. So with the 3D viewer, um, you can interact with the 3D garment in a very dynamic uh, way, no longer limited to just that static view of the turntable. You can actually check out the interior of the garment, um, check out some of those details, and really interact with the 3D garment in a 3D space. Now what's cool about this too um, is you can actually come in and add comments um, in the 3D space. So if I add a comment here to this welt pocket, um, maybe we wanna make the welt pocket wider. I can go in and tag the appropriate teammate who's in this group. So maybe for example, if Kara is my pattern maker, I can give her a tag. Um, and then I can actually come in and draw what I want this uh, change to look like. So I can use any of our variety of tools. We have this little rectangle tool here. So if I'm, you know, speaking to this welt pocket and I want to show about how wide I want it to sit, I can use this. Um, you can also upload images. So if I have an image of the type of pocket that I'd like to include, I can attach that here as well. So just giving my teammate, you know, the most clear information as possible to make those changes and I can say post. And now Kara will get a notification that I've tagged her in a comment. So she can come in and see this change, um, make any pattern corrections as necessary, um, and then upload the newest iteration here. Um, and then something I do just want to quickly call out also is a new commenting feature that we have um, for a pen tool. So you're no longer limited to just straight lines or arrows, um, you can use um, a pen tool that's very free form and follows your cursor. So I can come in here, draw my exact shape that I want it to look like. And post that to the comments as well. So with that, you can see um, that you have a very clear visual for all of the history and all of the comments that are made for this style. Um, but what is another new feature in Style Zone? is the ability to manage your different versions. So I'd like to just quickly call attention to these welt pockets on the front of this bomber here. If I take a look back at the first version of this file that was uploaded, um, this core block, there are no welt pockets present. 
So if I go check out the comments and see the comment history, things that were requested, I can see in February, um, I requested that we add welt pockets to this style. Um, and um, that comment is what instantiated a new version of this file to be uploaded. And of course, um, any other refinements from there, like we would just took a look at. Um, so if I scroll back um, with this first version, we can actually still see what was the initial sketch, what was the initial reference image that was provided for this style um, from our merge team or from our design team. Uh, we can see all of that history there, as well as we can see the old Excel tech pack and the old BW file, which are kind of logged with this version history as well. Um, so again, just opening up that transparency into the history of a style and of course giving you the ability to go back in time if necessary to access those assets. Let's go back to the most recent version. We can see um, a few different types of information here. Um, we have it tagged as accepted, but if, for example, we wanted to request that revision be made to the welt pocket, I can change the tag and all of the tags um, are completely customizable so you can kind of configure them to whatever the different stages within your development process are. We can also utilize this presentation mode um, where you can very quickly review your garment um, in a very clean interface um, and check out all of the different angles, that same 360 viewer, um, just giving you a different way to present your garment without having to open it up in something like PowerPoint or InDesign for uh, your design reviews. We also have access to that 3D viewer in this space as well. Um, and I'd also like to call attention to the metadata available for this style. So if we take a look here, we can see the retail value and the country of origin for this style. Um, all of this information is able to be input manually um, in the style card. We can go in and type in any of that data here. Or if you are connected to a PLM system, you can have this information populate from there. Um, and of course, you also have the ability to control all of the privacy for each of these different data points as well. So if there are sensitive information such as the retail value or um, the targeted cost, for example, you can ensure that only people who should have access to that information have visibility to that here. Um, so if we go back to the style here, um, let's say maybe instead of making any further internal changes, we want to request that one of our partner vendors um, make some of those 3D updates for us. Um, there's this option here to share. I can add this to my board where I'm actually managing and collaborating with one of my partner factories. Um, I can share it to there. And then if I go bounce over to that board, I can take a look at the copy of this style that's been uploaded to this board. So now my partner factory can come in and upload a new version, their version, their take on those updates. And we can keep track of all of the communication with that factory here instead of in Teams chats or in a, a bunch of emails. Everything is tied to the style card and really easy to find and go back in time and view those comments in the history. So now if I go back to my demo group here, maybe we want to take a look at one of the styles. Uh, let's take a look at this bomber, for example, all colored up. Um, I think this looks great. And as you can see, there's a lot of different colorways for this style. Um, this thumbnail is automatically generated with all of the colorways from this development. But if I want to dive in and just take a look at one colorway at a time, I can certainly do so. And so with this 3D asset, um, I can actually add it to another new feature of Style Zone called Collections. So if I add this to my uh, you know, Retailer A Spring Assortment, if I open this up, um, it'll take me to this Collections view. So Collections are just a way for you to very easily visualize, click and drag and assort and arrange uh, your collections um, however you desire. So whether that's by category, so if I wanted to organize all of my tops and then all of my dresses, I could do it that way. Um, or I could use these sections, uh, rename them. 
Um, and now I can actually go in and organize by what we're showing up to our vendor with um, or our account um, at each point in the season. Um, if I choose to drop something out, maybe we don't like this pink version, I can hide it or I can add it to a different section for drops. Um, so again, just keeping that visibility um, in one place. And as you can see also, um, we have some some of the same styles in here with different colorways showing. And the way that we're doing that is with this colorways option here. So if you want to merchandise and assort your colorways separately, you can kind of hide and show um, exactly what colorways should be showing um, for each drop. Um, and this doesn't affect that style card back from our groups and our boards. Um, this is kind of just acting like a hyperlink back to those, um, giving us just another tool um, to be kind of merchandising and assorting. So let's show this one and hide out the other two since we've got those in another location. Um, and as you can see, as I make those changes, the thumbnail kind of updates automatically. And now we've got our blue colorway separated out from the other colorways. Maybe those are more appropriate for spring and this one is better for summer or something like that. Um, so this view just lets you kind of click and drag and make sure that you're showing up with the correct assortment. So next we'll be covering our style zone integration directly into the Miro app. So now directly within the app store of Miro, you can navigate to the style zone app and it will open up this little window here, linking back into style zone. Um, it'll ask you to sign in. And once you sign in, you have access to all of your different boards that you have access to within style zone. Um, and if I open this up, let's check out our unisex styles. Um, and so what you can do in Miro, of course, it is a very free form um, organization and planning tool like many other whiteboarding apps on the market. Um, but we can see here, I've kind of started to plan out what are my seasonal silhouettes going to be? How do those interact with our different graphics and colorway planning um, and inspiration for the season? And then we can actually see how do those styles come together um, and what does this look like um, with those 3D assets included. So um, when you're bringing them into Miro, you have the ability to bring them in as a um, grouped thumbnail, like this thumbnail here, um, or you can bring them in as split colorways where each colorway is its own style card. So that is my preference typically. Um, so I'm going to just add these to my board. And as you can see, it dropped those in across the top there. Um, and what I like about this is that now I have a, a copy basically, or this little thumbnail image that I can go and drop in um, to my little paper dolls here, where I can quickly click and drag and kind of get an idea for what this outfit is going to look like without having to actually dress the whole outfit um, in V-Stitcher. Um, so I can click and drag, make sure that, you know, we're showing up with a head to toe look that the account is going to love um, and kind of visualize how everything comes together. Um, and because this is a live link back to style zone, um, I can open up this little style card here, for example. Um, and it gives me a peek into all of that same information that I have in style zone. So I can see my different colorways give those a second to load. I can view my 360 viewer. Um, I can check out all of that product data if we have all of that linked up. Um, and I can even see comments that have been made um, on the style. Um, I can add new comments and as I add these, they will be added to the style zone as well. Um, so you don't have to update information in two places. Everything is linked in live. So if you make a comment or change the status, um, everything will kind of reflect in both. Um, and at any time, if I need to go back to style zone, I can follow the link there and head right back into style zone. Um, so of course, to also save you time, if things do update in style zone, um, when those changes are made, the little style cards within Miro will get a blue dot and basically ask you, would you like to refresh with the latest information? You can say yes, and then instantly all of your images are updated and live with the latest and greatest information from Style Zone. And that is essentially it for our Style Zone integration with Miro. 
Um, if you have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out.